What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carvin Sorege and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be finally installing the Stillin Gen 3 intake. So if you guys are interested in seeing this, I definitely suggest you stay tuned um, because we're finally gonna do it. We're finally gonna do it. Um, I got the intake in the car with me. I'm gonna show you guys the box. I'm actually running kind of late, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and try to film this first part of the video that I'm gonna have to hurry up and get over there. But yeah, y'all, we're getting ready to um, install the um, intakes. I know I said um, a couple of times that I don't wanna get an intake, I don't wanna get an intake. Well, today I'm about to do it. I actually heard that it's supposed to give you 14 to the wheel horsepower um, if you have a sedan. And I guess you get more if you have a coupe or whatever. So we're gonna find out. If it's gonna if it's gonna make a big difference because this intake was pretty pricey six hundred dollars so we're gonna see if it really makes a difference and i need a oil change too so i'm gonna have to get that done next week but um but yeah we're gonna see y'all we're gonna see we're gonna see if it really make a difference or not um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the engine what it looks like before and i'm also show you the box i'm not gonna open it right now we'll probably do like an opening once i get there because like i said i'm kind of running a little bit late so um i'll catch y'all in the next clip question uh -huh. for the people who want to come here because there are a lot of people from the bay uh -huh. you know subscribe to my channel you do everything pretty much yeah we, we do everything we um like right now most thing is getting a clutch uh -huh. uh, i can't remember the stage i think it's a stage two clutch uh -huh. um, uh, best thing over there is a six cylinder uh -huh. v6 that's getting um Man, I can't remember. It was uh, the brake so booster. Mm -hmm. Brake booster. Corvette. It's uh, oil going into the intake. Uh -huh. Actually, the, core, uh, the cold air intake. Uh -huh. So it's probably going to be a PCV valve or some bad rings. Uh -huh. um, so I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. Um, we have a LS1 swap going into a truck right now. So I'm working on that, but I'm just a little project. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so you pretty much do pretty much yeah, everything. Yeah, pretty much. We don't tune. We don't do nothing No that. tune. All okay. times we, we, you know, headers. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we do that. Okay. So yeah. just because it's called concrete alignment, y'all, doesn't mean that he just do alignment, so. Yeah, everybody thinks <laughs> it's 
I mean, we do we do a lot of suspension work, shocks. Uh -huh. We do uh, control arms, mm -hmm. brakes. We do what else? Um, custom alignments mm -hmm. for the people that has lower cars. Which mm -hmm. That's no problem for us. Okay. We do all that. It's just the name. When I opened up the shop two uh -huh. years ago, I was like, I'm just gonna call it City Alignment. Yeah. Oh, City Alignment. My bad. Yeah, I city said <laughs> I said Concord Alignment. <laughs> This your first time doing one of these? Mm. One of these, like this like, one? Yeah, kind of yeah. like the same. Like right now, it's telling me that I have to remove this. This little piece. Plastic thing right here. And they all kind of like work the same way. It's just, this one's a little. A little different. Some of them they have like a um, what's it called? Like have like a bracket that go the mounts like right here mm -hmm. on some of them. And then this one, it's pretty much you have to remove it. I've seen some people cut a hole through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I don't want to do that. So I want to see exactly you know which the right way to do it. Yeah, the right way to do it. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to, now it's time to read and then see what's gonna work best for us. Right. Because I'm pretty sure this is not gonna fit. Oh my. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. have to cut that much. y'all back in the g37 let's see what let's see if this is worth 600 dollars and i'm gonna do a first drive video for y'all too so this is just a little sneak peek but obviously it's starting to get dark so i'm gonna do it tomorrow and probably go somewhere real nice because exhaust is popping as y'all can as y'all can hear so let's Yeah, it got a little bit 
bit more pickup. I ain't gonna lie. They got a little bit more pickup. <laughs> like, it's ready to go now. Like, before it had like a little lag to it, but still got a little lag, but not as bad as it was. Dang, these streets are bumpy as hell. Dang, I wish I could do the first drive right now, because man, I was going to tear the freeway up, but you know, it's getting dark. Lighting is going to be bad. Like, it's kind of already bad right now. And then this whole bunch of traffic on the freeway, but. As far as this, man, this is this is kind of worth it. I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm make a video uh, if it's really worth it or not. As I, you know, as I drive it a little bit, but so far, so far, so good. No check engine lights, as y'all can see. No check engine lights. Good job, Stillin. But also, shout out City Alignments if you are in the Concord area. Definitely go check them out. They're on Monument. Um, definitely a cool guy. His name is Jose. Tell him I sent you. Tell him Carvage the Red sent you. And uh, see if he can hook you up. But this is... I like it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Kind of... It, it feel... It feel different. Like... I don't know. It just feels different. It's hard for me to say. Like... It just feels different. But... That's pretty much it, y'all. This is gonna be the install video of the stilling. So like I said, I'm gonna make a, a first drive video with this car tomorrow morning. So stay tuned to that video because it's gonna be epic. And I think I'm gonna go find some heels, attach the GoPro to the outside, and we're gonna tear some streets up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Go ahead and give me a huge like, man. Um, and go ahead and comment and let me know if you guys are messing with the Stillin' Gen 3 intakes, man. Um, it's only up from here. I got more parts on the way. Plan on doing just a little bit more, a couple of things to the G37 until I call it quits. And then we're going to be on to the um, G35. So, um, yeah. But I want to give y'all, I want to give y'all one more pull before I leave. Just one more, and then, like I say, stay tuned onto the um, first drive video, cause that's when I'ma really tear it up, and y'all gonna hear it and stuff like that. But I ain't gonna lie, the exhaust definitely got louder, and you can hear the engine too. Bro, it sound like it sound like I got the um. <laughs> It's not like I got my resonators took back off again. Like it, it got that loud. Like it wasn't this. It wasn't this loud. Like it was loud, but it wasn't this loud. So it's crazy. But yeah, let me go ahead and find that one place where I could just do like one good pull for y'all. One good pull, and then um, I'm gonna end this video off. be able to do this pull y'all because as y'all can see it's traffic but y'all stay tuned on to the next video i'm telling y'all we're gonna tear some streets up and we're gonna go crazy Just a little i hear that air i hear that air <laughs> i hear that air i hear the air and it's it's definitely one to go so Last time, I'll check back in with y'all on the next video. Y'all stay tuned with the first drive with these stealing long tube intakes. I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy. I'm about to shoot a lot of content with these with this setup. So y'all stay tuned on to the channel, man. I'll see y'all in the next upload. Peace. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the
the bag, yeah, I get the box. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.